Oh, I, I feel great on the Chatham. This is my home. I was born here. I just simply love this place. When I go out to New Zealand, I can't get back here quick enough. <laughs> yeah. Part of the life is, um, you know, just being a loner and being doing your own thing. And, and it's, it's, it's a unique place, you know, it's yeah, every day you look at it and see there's something different happening. About 600 population roughly on the island and farming and fishing has been the main stay. In the early days it was just cod and later on in about 66 they started cray fishing and then they went, you know, but those days there's probably two and a half thousand people here. Mostly all come from New Zealand and went back within two or three years when the crayfish started to drop off and the tax man started to collect his taxes. <laughs> Kia ora. Um, my name's Susan Carter and I'm the teaching principal at Haingaro School on the Chatham Islands. Back in the 70s there were about 34 children at this school, which is a huge number compared to the nine that we have in 2012. The sea precious? Yeah. Precious for lots of reasons. So there's one word, precious and we've just begun a huge learning journey in technology, um, understanding te reo Māori and looking at the histories of Māori Ori and building whānau. Our learning programme centres around learning that was important to our tūpuna, which is our ancestors, and how that we are kaitiaki, we're caretakers of our environment and our language. Some key words that are really important to Te kura o kāingaroa uh, whānau, which is family, manaki, which is to take care of each other, and aroha, which is love. My name is Devonte Pereka and I am six years old. My name is Tani O'Neill and I'm seven. My name is Louise Nelson and I am seven years old. My name is Sakao Winter and I'm eight years old. My name is Shade Winter and I'm ten years old. My name is Catherine and I'm eleven years old. My name is Serena Fightiti and I am eleven years old. My name is PJ Pitika and I am eleven years old. My name is Nicole Fightiti and I am twelve years old. New Zealand's bigger. There's escalators and more houses. There is no cell phone coverage. There's no warehouse, McDonald's, KC, Subway and Burger King. It's bigger and more people live there in the towns. We have less people and less shops. We get cold weather. When it's raining and when it's really cold and windy. When the sea is rough, that means we can't go swimming. There's no McDonald's. We get to go fishing and we catch a lot of blue cod and groper and crayfish. Getting powers off from the beach. I like the Chatham Island because it's really nice here and fun. My favourite thing in the basic guitar. I like going fishing and I like playing down up the river. The carvings, um, because they're, they're, they are special.
I came in here <clears throat> with the elders, it was very special uh, time. There were three trees, one, two, three, carving. They told me to stop, they went through, and then they stopped on that side, or the I had to say a click here, they wanted. So they went through, they turned around, and then they said to me, say this other karakia, so I said that. Um, it's not a prayer, because we don't um, pray, we just talk. And anyway, <clears throat> then I went to go through, and I stepped through these trees, it was like a door opened, <clears throat> and I could see all the ancestors. And there was a little thread, like um, like a spider web, touching different parts of my body. Okay? Yes. And I could see every ancestor here, inside of the trees. And I was shocked. And, and my face must have went white, the ghost. And, um, and they said to me, well now you know why we come here. Hey, so what they could see is different to what you're seeing. All of your ancestors are in you. Hey, say, all of these ancestors are in you. I think I will live on the Channel Islands because I won't get lost. I think I'm going to stay at the Channel Islands because I like it here. I would like to travel the world to see different things and meet different people. Travel to different countries to see how other people live. I would like to live in New Zealand and travel and meet other people. It's a hard question. What do you think? My favourite thing is, is uh, safety, safety for the children, it's a beautiful place to bring up young children. Yeah, it's very an easy life. Yeah, because of like, the atmosphere and the, like, the, the, we don't miss New Zealand, that's for sure. <laughs> you are the 